This is check your understanding question four from fluid mechanics. This is one very amazing question. We'll definitely enjoy solving it. So let us read the question first. Question is that uh, there are vertical arms of a U tube. You can see this is the figure given. Are connected by thin glass tube. So this is one glass tube. And sorry, this is the glass tube and it is equipped with the wall. So there's a wall here. Initially the valve is closed and the tube contains three liquids. Rho A, Rho B, and Rho C. Those, the, these three liquids will not mix. And density is Rho C, Rho A, and Rho B. Now, length of the column of liquid C in both the arms are equal. So you can see this length liquid C, both the arms are equal. Length of the column of liquid A is H. So liquid A, this total height is H. And then connecting the tube meets the liquid A in the middle. That is also given 0.5H, 0.5H in the right arm in the liquid B, fine. So after the valve is opened, by what amount does the liquid level in both the arms change? That is what we need to find out. So first let us conclude a few things here. So this is the diagram I have taken from the hinge section. I'm going to find a better diagram. So now I will explain what is this and what exactly is happening. So here since uh, B, liquid B, is uh, the density of that liquid B is smaller than liquid A, right? So if density is smaller, and when you open the wall, then what will happen? This, because of high density, this liquid will try to diffuse this side. Sorry, because of low density, this liquid will try to diffuse this side and it will start moving up, right? This is what happens. Then now lighter liquid will move up. This you can see in figure two. And second point is that liquid flow will stop when pressure at the level of wall becomes equal. So this process will stop when here the pressure in this liquid and this liquid will become equal. That is what is going to happen because when there is no pressure, there will be no flow. Fine. So this is what final diagram looks like. Okay. So I hope this point up to here it is clear. So let us see what we are going to assume now. So we are assuming that liquid level in left branch goes up by X. So liquid level from the original level, right? This is not X, but from the original level. So this was the original level. This is the original level. From here, liquid level goes up by X. Now, since area of both the arms are equal. So if it is going up by X here, it will go down by same amount X here, right? This is one thing I'm assuming. Now, when liquid is coming here, definitely pressure is increasing in this branch. So because of increase in pressure, the liquid C will go down. So it also goes down by certain amount, the amount by which it goes down again, by the same amount it will go up here because again, areas are equal, volume remains constant. It is incompressible liquids. So let us see what this, what is the second point? In the right branch, the liquid will come down by the same amount, right? Because of area, I've already explained. Now, because of the increased pressure, liquid C will go down by Y amount in left branch. So two variables I'm assuming, X and Y. What is X? Remember, X is the from original level, what is the increase in height? And what is Y? Y is the amount by which in this branch liquid level is from the initial level, it is going down, right? So some more parameters I've assumed for the ease of calculation, this length is suppose L1 and this is L0. L0 is the level of liquid, initial level of liquid C in both the branches. Then now, see, understand this, sorry. Once you understand this, then after that, it will be very easy for you to write these equations and find the values of X and Y. See, here, what will be this height? Initial height is L0 plus H, right? Now, from the original level, we have assumed that it the level in left arm goes up by X from the original level. So total length becomes how much? L0 plus H plus X, right? Now, if you see carefully without calculating, you can see that this will be X plus Y. The amount of liquid which comes from the wall and goes here will be X plus Y, right? How do we see? See, now from this point, liquid level goes up by X, but this goes down by Y. So how much is the empty space now? Empty space is X plus Y. So that is why this is X plus Y. You can calculate also from uh, many other ways like I, can cal uh, I will explain one simpler method also to calculate this. Now, what I assume that this level goes down by Y, right? So this will become then L0 minus Y. And then here it will go up by 
to y then y amount this was the somewhere here original level and y amount goes down y amount goes up so from this now the difference of level will become 2y right that's obvious okay now since this has gone down by y this level will become s by 2 plus 5 this is also obvious because initially this was here this has gone down by y so this was initially h by 2 now it becomes h by 2 plus 5 that will make this as s by 2 minus 5 and this is l naught minus y. Now you can subtract from this. These two, you are still going to get x plus y, right? You could have directly um, calculated this because again, the same thing. From here, the level increases by x. So what is the empty space x? But then this goes down by y. So empty space generated in x plus is x plus y. So likewise, you can see this is 2y, this is h y 2 minus y. So that's it. After that, it is easy to calculate. Now, after understanding this much, it's easy to calculate y. So for y, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, now this system is in equilibrium. So pressure here at this point, see here in figure three, bottom point. Here from left side and right side, I can equate pressure. If pressures are not equal, then liquid arms will, uh, liquid columns will move, but in equilibrium, they're not moving. So what I'm going to do at valve level, pressure will be equal. If wall level pressure is not equal, then liquid flow will not stop again. So because it is equilibrium here, the liquid levels are equal. So from this point, now I'm going to calculate the pressure here at this point at D. And from here also, from right branch also, I'm going to do the same thing and equate pressure so that I can find Y first, right? So from this point onwards, there is, uh, Y is not coming anywhere. So, sorry, X is not coming anywhere. I'm sorry. So then Y we can find out directly. So from this point again to this point, what's the pressure? So I have not written G. I have not written P naught because it is going to cancel. And after writing, if you cancel everywhere, it becomes a uh, little clumsy. So that is why I have not written. You know? So it should be rho G H G and but G cancels and P naught also, P naught also cancels. So directly I'm doing then. See from here, from this point, figure three, see at the wall level, from this point, rho A and H by two plus Y, right? So G is there, but G is canceled. Then this is how much rho C, L naught minus Y. So that's the pressure here at this level. Now from this side, let us see, it is rho B H by two minus Y. And this level is how much total? Rho C, L naught plus Y, right? Because initially it was L naught, and it has gone down by y, gone up by y. So L0 plus y, or you can just simply add this one, L0 minus y plus 2y, you get L0 plus y. So in this equation, x is not coming. So directly, if you solve, you get y. y is rho a minus rho b, h by 2, 2 rho c minus rho a minus rho b. Right? Very easy calculus. Now, it is the turn to calculate x. So let us see how do we calculate x. For x now, you can calculate again, pressure. you can equate pressure here from this point or what I can do since at this level again, wall level pressures are equal. So I'm going to uh, uh, equate pressure from left side and right side, basically doing the same thing only conceptually. So when I calculate X equating pressure at the wall level, so let us see rho B X plus Y. So see here, this is rho B X plus Y. And then this will be rho A H by two minus Y. Rho A H by two minus Y. See at the bottom most point, you can see now, here, what happens now? This length, how do we calculate? See, initially this branch length I have assumed as L1, right? Now the X plus Y has gone this side. So this is this length is left, how much is left now? L1 minus X plus Y because X plus Y amount of liquid has gone to leak to left branch. So this is how much L1 minus X minus Y, but at this level we want, so we are going to subtract this also. Again, from the simple logic, this also you can calculate. I'm uh, explaining from math perspective. So L1 minus X1, X minus Y, there's the total column length of liquid B. And from that, this part, if I subtract, then I get this level. So that is what I have done here. And then if you see here, one variable I have assumed again, L1, right? So L1 also we need to find out in terms of gain parameters. It's actually very easy to find out. From the original figure, in original figure now, since there's a wall, this is one liquid, right? So at this level, we can equate pressure, right? Because it, this liquid is not moving. So same liquid, same level, pressure should be same. So here, what is what will be the pressure? Rho B L1, 
G again, I am not considering. And here it is rho A H. So that is what I have done. Rho A H, rho B L1 and found L. Now in this equation, you know everything. L1 also you can substitute here. And why you have already calculated. So after doing a little bit of calculation, so these all terms uh, you can see this uh, just simple calculation steps. You get rho B also as, you get then x as rho A minus rho B, rho C minus rho B, H divided by two rho B, two rho C minus rho A minus rho B. So that is the answer for x. It is a very good question. Definitely it can come in J advanced as, as it is or with slight modification. This question can even come in Olympiad exams also. So that was my analysis. If you have liked this analysis, please like this video and please subscribe to this channel also. If possible, if you can share this channel with your friends, I will be, sorry, I'll be very thankful. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I wish you all the best and we'll meet again.